We bless you, Lord, because you are God. There is none like you. in eternity we thank you father because come rain come sunshine you remain the same yesterday today and forever we thank you lord because you have never changed and you're not planning to change anytime soon we thank you jesus because you are the same faithful god who was who is and who is to come we bless your name, Lord, tonight because you're about to do something new in our lives. We thank you, Lord. We lift up our souls. We lift up our hearts unto your holy throne, knowing that you are the God who is able to change our stories. You are the God who is able to change our circumstances. You are the only God that we tend to, oh God. Lord, be exalted and be lifted in the name of, the name of Jesus. Be glorified in our lives. Be glorified in the your Holy Spirit. Thank you. Too strong in the. Hey. Amen. 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 And I'm happy to see you, son. God bless you. Amen. I've got one of the prophet's sons. is also my son, right? Amen. Huh? Amen. Huh? Amen. Yeah, he came all the way from Limpompo. Stand up, son. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord favor you. Hallelujah. If you don't clap your hands, then you're jealous, then I don't know where you belong. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, we love you so much, and thank you for taking your time just to be with us. Amen. Amen. My God, I love your Holy Spirit tonight. how much you might be passing through tonight he still reigns and he's still God I am standing here to be your encouragement just to encourage you that he still reigns he's still seated on the right hand of the father he's still on the throne he's still God he's still Yahweh he still reigns and tonight he's reigning over that circumstance He's reigning over that situation. He's going to reign tonight in a very, very, very tangible manner tonight. The Lord shall, re shall reign in your life. And the Lord shall release His Shekinah glory upon your life. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you. 
of your Holy Spirit. chapter number 60 verse 3 as you're standing up before you sit down because oh my God if you're there say amen if you're not yet there say wait for me Isaiah 6 0 verse 3 if you're there say amen can we read together? One, two, three, go. The Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of my your rise of your rising. Sorry, I edited it in my Bible. I put my where there's your. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
So can you put my where it says your rising? Say my rising. My rising. So let's read together from the first part. What does it say? The Gentiles shall come to my light and kings to the brightness of my rising. Can we read it again? Huh? That's a prophecy for somebody tonight. Amen. What does the word of God say? The Gentiles shall come to my light and kings to the brightness of my rising. Can you read it as though it's your word, it's your prophecy? Can you read it from deep down your heart? I want you to prophesy to your business. I want you to prophesy to that marriage. I want you to prophesy to that relationship. I want you to speak as though you mean what you're talking about. Can you say it again? The Gentiles shall come to my land. Uh huh. Shall brightness of my rising. So the rising of your business, kings shall come to the rising of your Amen. business. Kings shall come to the rising of your ministry. Kings shall come to the rising of that relationship. Kings shall come and witness that thing that the Lord is going to do in your life. Say, kings shall come to my rising. Kings shall come to my rising. That's your prophecy. Say, kings shall come to my pro to my rising. Kings shall come to my rising. Say, nations shall come to my rising. Nations shall come to my rising. Say, leaders shall come to my rising. Leaders shall come to my rising. That's your prophecy for tonight. Amen. I receive it. If I was talking to a living church, they were going to scream and go crazy, yes. get excited yes. for what the Lord is doing in their lives. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. Have your seats if you can. The, the, the Gentiles, they shall come to your light and the kings to the brightness of your rising, of my rising. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. And the book of Matthew chapter number 5. If you're in Matthew 5, can you say amen? Matthew chapter number 5. My God. If you're there, say amen. Amen. Can you read for me verse 12 going down, my pastor? Thank you, Mama, for the opportunity to read the word of God in your presence. Matthew chapter 5 verse 12 reads, Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under the feet of men. Mm. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot, cannot be hid. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You are the what? Say, I am the salt. I am the salt. Say, I am the salt of the earth. I am the salt of the earth. Say, I am the salt of the earth. I am the salt of the earth. And I add value or I add flavor to the earth. And I add value and I add flavor to the so earth. I add flavor to the earth. I add flavor to the earth. In other words, if food, you eat food, when you eat food without salt, what happens? Do you enjoy the food? No. It becomes tasteless. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's as good as though you are eating nothing. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So now the Bible describes you and I as a what? The salt unto the world. So in other words, where there's no salt, there's no flavor. Amen. There's no value. There's no taste. Hallelujah. Amen. So you are the one who adds taste to the world. You are the one who adds flavor to your society. Hallelujah. Amen. You are the one who adds flavor to your company. You are the one who adds flavor in your family. In other words, without your presence, there is nothing that can move. God has assigned you to be the one to move mountains in your family. You are the one that God has ordained to move things around you. Amen. You are the one that God has ordained to change things yes. around you. You're Amen. the one that God has ordained to bring stability around your Amen. life. Hallelujah somebody. Amen. If I'm talking to somebody, can I hear a loud amen? Amen. And the Bible says you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. And remember in Isaiah, the Bible says Gentiles are what? They shall do what? They shall come to my light. Amen. In other words, when light has been put on, no matter how much thick darkness it can be, the light will always be spotted. Even if it's just as simple as a matchstick. 
Amen. Amen. So light is always greater than darkness. Oh, I know you didn't hear. Amen. Light is always what? Greater than darkness. Light is always greater than darkness. Amen. So you are greater than that dark situation that you're going through. You are greater than that challenge that you're going through from the yes. wake of the enemy. You are greater than that frustration that you might be facing Amen. tonight. You are greater than that thing that might be depressing you or pressing you Amen. day and night, having sleepless nights. You don't, I don't know what you're going through, Amen. but the Lord says that you are the light under the world. Amen. In other words, you are the light that is about to be set up high. Amen. In other words, your lighting, your uplifting shall not be hidden Amen. because any light, it brings, it reveals the inner things. It reveals the secrets of the deeper places, Amen. of the darker places. In other words, when you appear in a place, things shall be revealed. Yes. Secrets shall be revealed. Amen. Hidden things shall be revealed. Amen. Hidden wealth shall be revealed. Amen. Hidden finances, hidden prosperity Amen. shall be revealed at your presence. Amen. It shall be revealed at your appearance Amen. because you are the light unto the world. Yes, you are the light unto this world. You are Amen. the salt of this world. And when you appear, flavor and salt shall be added into your life. Amen. Guess what? You are a story changer. Amen. You are the world changer. You are not an ordinary person. Amen. You might have been going through things tonight, but I'm here to encourage you. Somebody, God says you are the light unto the world Amen. and the world is waiting for your manifestation. Amen. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God. I said the Lord says the world is waiting for your manifestation. The world is waiting for your manifestation. The world is waiting for your bathing out of your miracles, your testimonies. The world is about to witness the thing the Lord has deposited inside of you. Amen. Amen. Oh, I know you didn't hear. Glory. Can I talk to a believer tonight? Can I talk to somebody who says, Amen. Kings shall come to my rising. Amen. Listen to me. Tonight, I've told you that my body might be too weak, but my spirit is so energized. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I hope you're going to allow me to see it as I'm ministering to you, right? Amen. Will that be fine? Amen. And if you feel like jumping up, just jump up. It's the Holy Spirit who's going to lead you to do so. Are we ready for the move of the Holy Spirit? Amen. Are we ready for his move? Amen. Say, Holy Spirit, I love you. Holy Spirit, I love you. And tell him, say, Holy Spirit, I want you to speak to me now. Holy Spirit, I want you to speak say, to me Say, Holy now. Spirit, minister to me now. Holy Spirit, minister to me now. Say, rearrange my life now. Rearrange my life now. Rearrange my destiny now. Rearrange my destiny Holy now. Spirit, I need you now. Holy Spirit, I need you now. I need you, you more than ever before. I need you more than ever before. Amen. <laughs> my God. Hallelujah. Are we ready? Are we ready for the yes, move of the Holy Spirit? Ready. <clears throat> hey. Jesus. That's my boss. Paul says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Not some things. Not certain things. Amen. I can do all things. Not with my own ability, not with my own strength, but through his strength. Amen. The word through, it simply means what? Via somebody or via something. In other words, I cannot do it with my own ability. Amen. But I can do it through him who strengthens me. Amen. And I believe that tonight the strength of the Lord shall rest upon you. I receive it. I said the strength of the Lord shall rest upon you. I receive. I said the strength of the Lord shall rest upon you tonight. I receive. Amen. And guess what God is saying tonight? He's going to use your disaster to get you to a better direction. I receive it. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. He's going to do what? Use my disaster to get me to a better destination, Amen. to a better direction. And guess what? Enjoy the journey and don't just enjoy the destination. Amen. People get so much excited when it's time for, for you to go for holidays or maybe you are traveling to a country that you've been, never been before. You know, you get so excited when somebody says, no. You are going for a holiday. You're going to Mauritius. And you think about Mauritius. It's so beautiful. You think about Dubai. Oh, it's so beautiful. I wish it's been my dream country to go to. And then the day you are told to say, you are going to Dubai. 
the excitement is all over you. You can't even sleep the whole night. Even if your flight will be the following day in the night, you get excited the whole night. You can't even catch a sleep because you're so excited about your destination. Amen. And when you get on the flight, guess what? You began, you know, the journey is always tedious. It's always what? Tedious. It's so slow. It's as if you can just appear in that place where you want to go to. And many people today, they just want to appear into their promised land. They just want to appear into their promised destiny. But they don't want to enjoy that journey. Guess what? Shake your neighbor. Tell them, enjoy the journey, not the destination. Enjoy the journey before the destination. Amen. <laughs> enjoy the what? Know the what? Destination. Enjoy your journey, not your destination. Amen. Why? Because it is through your journey that you're going to gain some certain level of experience. Amen. It is through your journey that you're going to encounter certain kind of characters along the way. Amen. You meet all kinds of people surrounding you. You find talkative people around you. You find quiet people around you. You find all kinds of characters that are going to be sitting next to you. And you don't know how to adjust yourself in order for you to cooperate with that kind of character. In order for you to be in one accord as you are going to your destiny. Amen. Hmm. Holy Ghost Embassy, are you here? Amen. Are you here? Amen. Are you here tonight? Amen. Are you here tonight? Amen. I said, are you here tonight? Yes, mom. God is going to use your disaster. He's going to use your disaster to get you to a better direction. I receive. Sometimes we don't want to listen at the instructions of God. Until when something happens, that's when we are forced to obey the instructions of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Can you talk to somebody? Tell them obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yeah, speak in French. Just tell them obedience is better than sacrifice. <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. You need to get to a level in life where you need to understand and to, we need to have the real understanding of who we are. Most people, they malfunction simply because they don't understand who they are. So when you get to understand who you are, it's simple for you to function. Amen. It's simple for you to operate. Amen. It's simple for you to attain certain things. Amen. It's simple for you to acquire certain things. Amen. Not until your identity is revealed to you, the world can never know who you are. Amen. So you ought to know who you are in the first place before the world knows who you are. Many people that want the world to know who they are before they don't know who they are themselves. Mm. So in other words, do not introduce yourself to the world before you, God introduces yourself to yourself. Amen. <laughs> I know only two people got that one. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. And I pray that tonight this will be a prayer that God give me a new way of looking at my life. I receive it, mom. And I pray that tonight your prayer will be God give me a new way on how I'm going to look at my circumstances. Amen. Oh, 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 Listen. Until you understand who you are worth, you might not embark on a journey to your destiny. Amen. Sometimes you need to understand who you are. Amen. 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 Know who you are. Know what you are worth. Know what, know what you are able to cause. What kind of confusion you are able to cause. Like for the, in the book of uh, Jonah. You know the story of Jonah. You know, he understood who he was as he was in the midst of the storm in the middle of the river. You know, as they were in the boat, the Bible records to say, deep down in his heart, he knew that I am the one who is causing this storm. 
to shake around. And until Jonah had to speak out to say, can you kindly throw me out of this boat into the water and then this boat is going to come to become, to become. Hallelujah. So he knew that he was the cause of confusion. He knew he was the cause of the shaking that was going on. So not until he understood it himself, not until he revealed it himself, he knew who he was. He knew what mistakes he had made. He knew what errors he had made. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But believers today, they don't want to come out and be able to speak out who they are. They love to justify themselves. No believer wants to be wrong. Every believer wants to be right, even when they know they are on the wrong side. True or false? Is that true or false? Is that true or false? So tonight you might be going through some disaster, some calamity, not knowing that you are the cause of that calamity. Amen. Not knowing that you are the cause of that thing that you are going through. And you might be busy pointing fingers at people, blaming people around you. They might not be the real problem or the real disaster. You are the real disaster. Amen. Not until you know who you are. That's the only moment you can begin to function properly as a child of God. Amen. Am I talking to Holy Ghost? Amen. Amen. Ask your neighbor, have you ever put yourself in trouble? Now listen. Your disaster, that's what God told me tonight. He said, your disaster, it will do what? Huh? It will get you to a better destination. Amen. I receive it. Amen. So it was out of the disaster that Jonah had to pass through. That he had to get himself into the water. And the fish had to swallow him and take him to the destination. Amen. Where God had called him to go to in the first place. Amen. So what do I mean? God might have called you into a certain purpose of life. God might have given you a certain assignment to fulfill. And you might have been running away from the purpose of God. And where you went to, you went and caused calamity and disaster. And now God wants you to get back. Amen. And now God wants to use that thing and trap you back into the real assignment, the original assignment that he gave you to do. Amen. Hmm. Some of you, you have divided in your careers not because you were supposed to be what you are today. You were supposed to be a doctor, you ended up being a lawyer. Right? You were supposed to be a lawyer, you ended up being a doctor. Is that right? You didn't become what you wanted to become. But that does not mean that that should lead you into malfunctioning. But maybe that thing, God is going to use that thing to lead you into the divine purpose of God himself. Amen. Hmm. Jesus. That's my boss. Am I helping somebody tonight? Amen. Tonight, God is going to cause that thing that you're going through just to set you apart. Just to set you on a certain dimension. Amen. Just to set you on a certain level. Hey. He's going to push you into a certain dimension that you never imagined or thought of. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. And guess what God says tonight? Your gates shall be opened continually. Amen. Amen. Can we get to the book of Isaiah 60 again, verse 11? Hey. Hey. Verse 11. 60, verse 11. Isaiah 60, verse 11 reads. Yes. Your gates will always stand open. They will never be shut day or night mm. so that men may bring you the wealth of the nations. Their kings led in triumphal procession. Can you read it again? <clears throat> Sorry. Your gates will always stand open. Say my gates. My gates will always 
stand open. They will never shut day or night so that men may bring you the wealth of the nations. Their kings led in triumphal procession. Amen. Can you read it as though it's your prophecy? Can we read it together? Say, my gates, my gates shall be open. Shall be open. Continually. Continually. How many people are praying for breakthrough tonight? You need breakthrough? Amen. How many people need open doors? Now listen. How many people need international doors? Amen. You are saying, God, I need open doors. A door can never be opened if a gate is not, op is not open. Amen. Before you get into someone's premises, the first thing you need to pass through a gate. Amen. So you don't get access to the door before you get access to the gate. So, now the Lord says, your gates have been opened or shall be opened continually. Amen. You know what it means continually? Non-stop. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> My gates shall be opened continually. In other words, there's no comma. There's no full stop. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Your business gates shall be opened. I continually. Receive. I receive. In other words, you will not just have partial breakthroughs. You know, there are people who have breakthroughs, like today they have a breakthrough. Again, for them to have another breakthrough, it will take one year or two. That is disaster. But tonight, your disaster is getting you into another direction. I receive. Now, the word of the Lord says, my gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day and night. Amen. In other words, you are guaranteed for your testimonies day and night. Amen. You are guaranteed for your breakthroughs day and night. Amen. You are guaranteed for your increase day and night. Amen. You are guaranteed for your promotion day and night. Amen. Somebody say, I, my see. gates shall be opened continually. My gates shall be opened continually. Amen. You know, today you receive favor at your workplace. Tomorrow you are the enemy of your boss. The other day you are whatsoever. God forbid. Amen. In other words, when your rising starts, remember I said kings shall come to my rising. Amen. In other words, leaders and bosses shall come to my rising. Amen. So when your gate to your promotion has opened, some of you who have just testified once in this church, I decree and I declare. I receive. I said I decree and I declare. I receive. Under the grace of the prophet of this house, I decree I and I declare. Receive. May your gates be opened continually. I receive. May your doors be opened continually. I receive. Your ministry will not be a local ministry. I receive. I decree international doors. I receive. I decree international gates. I receive. I decree international connections. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. Your business shall cross cross borders. Your business shall cross continents. Your businesses, your financial breakthroughs shall come from I all corners of this earth. Somebody say, I shall be blessed continually. I shall be blessed continually. Amen. Not, when were you last blessed? Last year. The whole of 2016, nobody ever blessed you. God forbid. After tonight, your breakthrough is guaranteed. I receive. I said, after tonight, your breakthrough is guaranteed. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. You know why? You got what it takes. Amen. You have what it takes. Amen. You are not a failure. Amen. You are a, a success. Amen. You are not a poor person. You are a prosperous person. Amen. I receive it. Does it mean people that have made it are better than you? No. They just understood who they were Amen. in the Lord. You might be admiring somebody who is doing better than you. It's not time for you to admire. It's time for you to go and inquire what led them to be where they are. Amen. After inquiring, put whatsoever they tell you, their secrets into practice and become what you want to become. Amen. 
There are no restrictions in whatsoever you want to become when you're a child of God. You can do all things. I said you can do what? All things. Say I can do all things. I can do all things. Say I can do all things. I can do all things. In other words, you are not exempted to becoming whatsoever you want to become. In Amen. Life. Say I'm not exempted. I'm not exempted. Say I'm not exempted. I'm not exempted. Say I will become what I want to become. I will become what I want to become. Say I will become what God says I will become. I will become what God says I will become. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. You know, there are a lot of people who have made it in life and people, they keep on admiring them. They don't know what it took them to be where they are. Maybe what took them to where they are. You know, there are certain secrets to success that they're very important and very vital in each and everybody's life. One of the secrets is the level of your consistency. Your level of your commitment. Your level of your diligence. Amen. Oh. Your level of your hard work. Amen. You don't just talk about things and not work it out. You speak it out and you work it out. And you become it. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. Shake your neighbor, tell them that his grace is sufficient. His grace is sufficient. Say his grace is sufficient. Say, his grace shall be sufficient for you this week. Say, his grace is sufficient. My God. Amen. Say, his grace is sufficient. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. His grace is. His grace is what? Is sufficient. His grace is. Sufficient. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I tell you another thing? Can I tell you something? Yes. Can I just encourage you? I came here to encourage you, right? Yes, ma'am. Your God is a God of time. Amen. And is a God of all seasons. Amen. And he's here tonight just to jump you into another kind of a season. I receive. He's here to change your season into a better season. I receive. He's here to transform you and take you into another dimension. I receive. Amen. He's a God of all seasons. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Now listen. The fact that God did not kill you in the first place of your disaster. It means he still has a purpose for you. Amen. The fact that he did not destroy you in the first half of your game, that means they still lied in the second half of your game. Amen. Hmm. You know, some people are saying, oh, you don't know what I'm going through. You can just say that just to entice me or maybe just to encourage me as you say it, but you don't know what I'm going through, right? Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. You might have been frustrated. You might have been disappointed. You might have been let down. You might have been sick in your body. You might have been broken down. You might have been low. You might have been crying all night, all day long. But guess what? The fact that you're still there, God still has something for you. Amen. I said God still has something for you. Amen. The fact that you're still breathing. You know, God cannot be wasting his oxygen on you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Imagine you went through that sickness that almost took your life, but you still survived. You underwent that operation that almost took your life, but you survived. Amen. You underwent that disappointment that broke your heart into pieces, but you still survived. Amen. You went through that divorce that almost killed you, but you still survived. Amen. Why? God still has something. 
Hallelujah. God has something for you. Amen. God has something for your ministry. Amen. God has something for your family. Amen. God has something for your business. Amen. God has something big for something that he has deposited Amen. inside of you. He's not a waster of resources. Amen. And oxygen is one of the most rare commodity that you cannot buy on the streets. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I know you didn't hear me. Right? Amen. God is not a waster of what? Resources. And your oxygen that you intake day and night is one of the rare commodity that you can't just buy from every street. Every small street or whatever you call it in Jobek. Huh? You can't find it anywhere. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a rare thing, but the Lord still gives you this rare commodity and he gives it to you free of charge. Amen. And he cannot give you such kind of a commodity if he has nothing to do with your life. Amen. The fact that you are homeless does not mean that you don't, he doesn't have a purpose Amen. for you. The fact that you don't have that money that you've been praying for, the fact that you don't have that car, you don't have that marriage, you don't have that business that Amen. you've been dreaming of, Amen. it does not mean that maybe that's the end of your life. Amen. God still has something great for you. Amen. God has still stored something great and mighty things for your life. Amen. And guess what? No eye has seen, no ear has heard, Amen. no heart has perceived yes. the wish the Lord has put in store for Amen. they that love His name. And if you love him tonight, he has something great for you. Somebody say, I am a partaker of the greatness of yes. God. Amen. My God. Jesus. That's my boss. I am still here. Amen. I am still surviving. Amen. Come rain, come sunshine. Amen. I know who I am. I know who my God Amen. is. The devil will try and cause you to cry all night. And guess what? He forgets that joy comes in the morning. Amen. Oh, weeping may endure only for a moment. It may endure only for a night. Amen. But the joy of the Lord comes in the morning. Amen. I stand here to decree and I declare over your life that your morning has come. Amen. Your new season has come. Amen. Your turn around has come. Amen. Somebody Amen. say my morning has come. Amen. You know, the devil will always try and frustrate us. The devil will always come and try and disappoint us. He'll come and try and trouble on us. And all he thinks is that he's getting done with us. The fact that God did not take away the oxygen that I have, Amen. I still got a purpose to save. Amen. I still got souls to save. Hallelujah. I still got families to save. Amen. I still got something to do under Amen. the sun. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say, I am unstoppable. I'm an unstoppable. The Bible says, you are like a wind. Hey. Amen. You cannot predict where the wind comes from and where it is going to. Yes. So the world might have tried and predict your life, but they can't pick. They cannot predict where your future, how your future looks like. Amen. And guess what? Your future does not rely on the boss that denied you promotion. Amen. Your future does not rely on the people that failed to, to support you. Amen. Your future does not rely on the people that failed to give you that project, yes. to give you that thing, to give you that business. Amen. My future relies in the hands of the Lord Amen. because I know that my help cometh not from the east, south, west, or north, but it cometh from above. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. The Lord says, He just sent me to encourage somebody. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. You know, I was so low in my, in my spirit. My body tried to misbehave. And I told God, I said, God, the fact that this thing did not kill me. Amen. I still got to move on. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. Amen. Shake your neighbor. Tell them, say, you got what it takes. You got what it takes. Tell them, you got what it takes. And you become what you want to become. Say, you achieve what you want to achieve. 
I want you to imagine yourself in that 10 bedroomed house. I want you to imagine driving that Bentley. I want you to imagine seated in the heavenly places together with him. Hey! Yes! The devil is a fool. The devil is a liar. He thought he's done with you. Say, I'm still moving on. I'm still moving on. He thought maybe by taking away the people that were supporting your ministry, you're going to close that ministry. Say, I am still moving on. I'm still moving on. He thought maybe that man that was there supporting you, giving you money for rentals, the moment he took him away, he thought maybe you're going to be stranded. Somebody say, I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. Say, I don't get stranded. I don't save a stranded God. I save a mighty God. I save, I save a glorious God. I save a good God. I save a merciful God. I save a gracious God. Somebody say hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Do you look like somebody who's going to give up? No. You don't look like one. If you ask me to say, maybe I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I don't know what to feed. I don't know what to put on the table. I don't know how to pay school fees for my kids. I don't know how to pay my renters. I don't care what you don't have. My God doesn't care what you have. He cares about the breath that he has given you. And he cares about your life. And he knows what is best for you. He knows what is inside of you. Amen. Oh, my God. Jesus. That's my goal. He thought maybe after disappointing you, after giving you the heartbreak, he thought maybe you're going to pack your bags and say, I'm giving up on this God. Say, I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. You'd rather give up on anybody, but you cannot give up on this God. Amen. He's the only God who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, that which we can think of him much. Amen. And the Lord promised Moses in the book of Exodus um, uh, 33. The Bible says, he promised him of his presence. Amen. He said, my presence shall go before you. Hallelujah. Amen. So in other words, when I am going in that promotion, I know that I'm going to seek that job. Yes. As I'm going for that interview, yes. I know his presence goes before me. Yes. When I am seeking justice from the Lord, yes. I know that his presence goes before me. Yes. When I need healing from this God, I know his presence goes before me. Yes. When I need money from this God, I know his presence goes before me. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't go on my own. Amen. I don't do things on my own Amen. capacity. Amen. Oh, Jesus. My God. Amen. He says, Moses, I am your God. Amen. And I have called you by your name. Amen. In other words, he knows each and every man's name. Amen. He knows you by your name. Amen. He knows you by your son's name. Amen. He knows you by your address. Amen. He knows you by everything that consists Amen. you. He's a God who knows us in and out. He's a God who knows us Amen. every detail about our life. Hey. hey! He's turning our disaster into a new direction. Amen. He's taking our disaster into another dimension. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Hey. Listen. He promised you something and he made sure that he divert that miracle that you are waiting for. Amen. You know, every time God has something for you in his hand, it's every time the devil also eyes for that particular thing. Yes. And you thought maybe you were done with the devil in the first place. And he still comes back even more than he came in the first place. Amen. I receive. You prayed for 29, for 21 days. You thought, okay, now I'm coming out of this thing. The moment you finished your fasting, another disaster appears. 
you tried and fast again for seven days. The moment you feel like now, my breakthrough is at the tip of my finger. Another thing happened. So in other words, the devil will make sure and cause you to be in a corner where you don't have a breathing space. Satan will cause you to feel like you are suffocating. Because maybe you might have tried your sauce on the left hand. Your sauce did not help you. You tried the sauce on the right hand. Your sauce did not help you. You tried to look left, right and center. Nobody is coming to your rescue. But the Lord tonight. The Lord tonight. I said the Lord tonight. I said the Lord tonight. He's going to cause that disaster. And turn it into a good. And a better direction. Oh yes. Oh yes. Amen. Amen. And the Lord is reminding me. He says. You are like a tree. A cedar tree. Amen. Hey. You are like a cedar of Lebanon. Amen. It does not fall anyhow. It just bends and gets back. Amen. It grows even in the midst of the desert. Amen. It does not require any help of Amen. water. Oh, Yakatora Mandalas. It produces water within Amen. itself. Amen. And it is able to shower itself until Amen. it grows itself. Yes. So, in other words, you might have tried to seek help from the people that you trusted most. From the people that you thought these are the ones. And your help did not come. But the Lord says, help will come from within you. Because he that is in you is greater than the one that is in the world. Yes. Glory. You might have tried to use your connections. Your connections failed you. You might have tried to use your qualifications. Amen. Your qualifications, they failed you. Amen. I receive. Have a seat in a moment. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Amen. Say, I am still here. I am still here. Say, I am still moving on. I'm still moving on. And I am not stoppable. And I'm not stoppable. Say, I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. Amen. I receive. I receive. I receive. Hey. My God. And guess what? The Lord says. Can I tell you what he says? Say it, moms. Can I tell you what he says? Tell us, moms. Can I tell you what he says? Tell us, moms. <clears throat> Amen. So shall I fear the name of the Lord from the worst Amen. and his glory from the rising of the Amen. sun when the enemy comes in like a flood the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard Amen. against him Amen. so when the enemy shall come in like a flood the enemy will raise a standard What do I mean? In the midst of that disaster, in the midst of that confusion, where you feel like you are in the midst of the sea, you don't know how to get to the shore. The Lord says, I shall raise a standard. Amen. Yes. Amen. It may seem as though there's no way out. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Amen.
You know, when you're driving under the tunnel, there's so much darkness and you don't know how far or how near the light is. But at the end of your movement, you'll still find Amen. the light. Amen. Nobody may predict when you're going to come out of that issue. But the Lord says, He is raising a standard. He is raising a standard. Amen. Say, He is rising a standard for me. Raising a standard for me. Say he is raising a standard for me. He's raising a standard. Say he is raising a standard for me. He is raising a standard for me. Amen. He is raising a standard for my sake. He is raising a standard for the sake of you. He is raising a standard for the sake of your family. He is raising a standard for the sake of Holy Ghost Embassy. He is raising a standard for the sake of your finances. He is raising a standard for the sake of your calling. He is raising a standard for the sake of your good health. He is raising a standard for the sake of everything that concerns you. Say he is raising a standard. He is raising a standard. Say he is raising a standard. He is raising a standard. Say he is raising a standard. He is raising a standard. Hallelujah. Amen. I receive. Hey, I receive. Where you are now, what you are going through now might just be a transportation to your papers. Hallelujah. It might just be a transportation to your destiny. Amen. The Lord is going to use that thing as a transport to push you into another dimension. Amen. Glory. I can imagine how great, how big your future is. Amen. I can imagine how your tomorrow will look like. Amen. Joseph, he slept as a prisoner. He woke up the other day as a prime minister. Hallelujah. You might sleep as a single person tonight. You might sleep as a nobody tonight. Amen. Nobody knows what God has in his hands for your Amen. life. <laughs> you might sleep as somebody who has no accommodation. You got no place. You don't even know where to put your kids. There's no house. You don't even know where you're going to take them tomorrow. You don't even know where you're going to take them at the end of the month. Amen. You don't even know what to put on your table for your children. You don't know nothing. It's like your trust has just been put Amen. in the Lord. I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to encourage you. I receive. I said I'm here to encourage you. I receive. I said I'm here to encourage you. I receive. You wake up as somebody great. I receive. I said after tonight you wake up as somebody great. I receive. I said after tonight you're going to wake up as somebody who is great. I receive. Hit a high five to somebody. Tell them that I am a great person. I am a great person. Say tomorrow don't be surprised. Tomorrow don't be surprised. Tell them don't be shocked tomorrow. When you see me as a boss, don't be shocked tomorrow. When you see me as somebody who will be employing people like you. Amen. Tell them don't be shocked. Tell them don't be surprised. Hallelujah. Don't be shocked. Amen. Don't be surprised. Amen. He's a God of his word. He's a God of his promise. So remember his word says, kings shall come to your rising. Oh, yes. In other words, any kind of a leader you have ever thought of, any kind of leadership, any kind of greatness you have ever thought of, they shall come to your rising. Amen. They shall come to my rising. Amen. They shall come to your rising. Amen. They shall come to the rising of your business. Yes. They shall come to the rising of your ministry. They shall come to the expansion of your ministry. I receive. Hmm. 
the Lord shall enlarge your territory. I receive. The Lord shall enlarge your borders. I receive. The Lord shall extend your borders. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. Stand up on your feet if you can. Amen. Jesus. Thank you for using that disaster to get me into a better direction. Thank you, Lord, for using that disaster to take me into a better pace. Amen. Thank you for taking me to a point knowing that you are in control of everything that surrounds my life. Amen. God is in total control of your life. Amen. God knows you by your name. I don't want you to look at me tonight. I want you to focus on God. He is the only source and help that you have. He is the only one that can take you out of that mess. Amen. And he's the only God that can change that mess into a great message. Amen. He's the only God who can make a way where there seemed to be no way. Amen. He's the same God who parted the Red Sea. Oh, yes. He's the same God that we worship tonight. Amen. He's the same God who parted the Red Sea. And the same God that you worship tonight. He's the same God who is going to part you from that disaster. He's the same God who is going to disappear. D d d remove you. He's going to remove that disappointment off your hands. He's the only God who can do the undoable. Amen. He's the only unchangeable changer that I know. Amen. He's the only God who does exploits. Amen. He's the only God who does wonders. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Your focus is on God, not on me. Lift up your hands. You are the one who knows what you're going through. I don't know. Amen. It's only God and you who know what you're going through. And I want to talk to somebody who says, I am tired. I am sick and tired with this mess, Lord. Turn it into a good message of my life. Amen. Change this story into a testimony of God. Somebody who says, enough is enough for God. Enough of, being, of me being a borrower. Enough of me not being promoted, oh God. Enough of me being in lack and want. Enough of me being in sickness and pain. Rata ima 
sopra adre carra zatariga re na adre caso in na hadas rata la ico sopra hade bosh rata ico dore bra hade bana la hadre kata rata sopra in adre bana la haso tare bosh iso ta ikata erata rakota ico pra in adre kata rico pra in adre bana la haso tare bosh iso pa e mata la ikata lezo ta rakata la hade bosh Ricabra adele supre in adele kata Rico zota ena sota erata Rico ta rekata eka Rico pa edele bosh Zemata la adele kasa tare Rasa ibra edele bosh Thank you Lord Lift up your hands on to the Lord Say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for being mindful of me, for being mindful of me, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, for turning my disasters, for turning my disasters into a great testimony, into a great testimony, for turning my mess. For turning my mess into a message. Into a message. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my promotion. Thank you for my promotion. Thank you for my rising. Thank you for my rising. Thank you for calling me. Thank you for calling me into being a sort of this world. Into be sort of this world. I shall add value. I shall add value to my life. To my life. To my family. To my family. To my ministry. To my ministry. To everything that concerns me. To everything that concerns me. I shall add taste to it. I shall add taste to it. I shall add flavor. I shall add flavor. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because you have raised me. Because you have raised me as a light. As the light unto this world, unto this world, in this light, and this light, it shall not go dim. It shall not go dim. Say, my life will not be dim. My life will not be dim. I will shine brighter and brighter. I shine brighter and brighter. Say, my marriage will shine brighter and brighter. My marriage will shine. My brighter relationship brighter. will shine brighter and brighter. My relationship will shine brighter. Say, and brighter. my company will shine brighter and brighter. My finances will shine brighter and brighter. My finances will shine brighter, brighter. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If you're a believer, shout amen. Amen. If you're a believer, shout a better amen. Amen. If you are believing the word, shout a better amen. Amen. If you are a believer, shout a better amen. Amen.
Jesus. Tonight I decree and I declare. I receive. May that vision that you have not be cut off. I receive it. I decree that though it may tarry, it will surely come to pass. I receive. Though it may delay, it will surely come to pass. I receive. It will surely come to pass. I receive. I said it will surely come to pass. I receive. It will surely come to pass. I receive. It will surely come to pass. I receive. That's your testimony. It will surely come to pass. I receive. Say it will surely come to pass. It will surely come to pass. Testify to three people, tell them it will surely come to pass. It will surely come to pass. Tell them it will surely come to pass. Tell them it will surely come to pass. That says the Lord, it will surely come to pass. I receive it. It will surely come to pass. 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 Power. means not to stand. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But, uh, we thank God for tonight. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father of your child? I don't know. It's... 
he denied the responsibility and everything and everything. Yes. settlement yes, there's a lot of wind that is blowing around her life it's true. and if we don't pray I've never had time to talk to your daughter never no. but there's a strong wind that is trying to blow over her settlement and I'm seeing her scattered it's true, Mama. so we need to pray for the mercies and the grace of the Lord Amen. take three steps Take three steps. Stop it. Thank you, Jesus. I said a lot of people will settle in the month of September. I receive. Not just settling in the area of marriage, but even in the area of finances. I, I receive it. May God give you grace. I receive. After tonight, you will never be broke. The Lord will give you serious connections in the mind. I receive. And there will be a lot of financial breakthroughs that you will even fail to testify. I receive. But the condition is, if only you can be faithful to God. I receive. Amen. Mm. Thank, you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Pow! Listen. I decree and I declare over your life. Whatsoever you are believing God for. I receive. I said tonight. I receive. Guess what? There is an advantage tonight. If only you can take an advantage of this presence of God tonight. I receive. Anything that you decree tonight, it will surely come to pass. I receive it. You know, every time you come in the presence of God, it's an error for you to come out of his presence empty-handed. So every time God gives you an opportunity to be in his presence, it's every time you need to get ready for a new thing from the hand of the Lord. 
Can you take advantage of the presence of God? Can we take advantage of the presence of God? Amen. Can we take advantage of the presence of God? Amen. I said, can we take advantage of the presence of God? Amen. Can we take advantage of the presence of God? Amen. Listen, some of you, you are waiting for serious business deals. All you need is to speak forth. All you need is to speak forth. shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Amen. So you don't wait for an establishment for the thing that you have not decreed over your life. Shake your neighbor, tell us them what do you want from the Lord. What do you want from the Lord? Shake your neighbor, tell them what do you want from God. Shake your neighbor, say what do you want from God. What do you want from the Lord? And tell your neighbor, say decree that thing. Decree that thing. Say, declare that thing. Declare that thing. It will surely be established. It will surely be established. Say, it will surely be established. It will surely be established. Say, it will surely be established. It will surely be established. Power. Power. Don't just be a spectator in the presence of God. Amen. Be a participant in the presence of God. Don't just look at how your neighbor is receiving. Look at how God is going to change your life. Amen. It's not about the neighbor that maybe God located through prophecy. No, they didn't locate me. They only located specific people. Listen to me. Evangelist Hope may not be able to locate you, but the Holy Spirit can locate anybody and everybody. Amen. I trust the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. And I do nothing besides the instructions of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's all. He's my best friend. He reveals to me secrets about people. And I also reveal to him what I want to reveal. Simple. Amen. I'm just an intimate friend of him. So, I cannot reveal my secrets to you if I don't know you. So, he only reveals his secrets about other people. To the person that he has trusted and the person that he knows personally. No, I want God to I want to hear God. I want God to speak to me. I want to see the, how can he reveal things to you when you are not best friends with him. I receive it. All those that are doing businesses tonight. I decree. I receive. And I declare in your business. I receive. I said I decree and I declare. I receive. Okay. I saw a lot of people testifying. I receive it. I saw 21 people from this congregation. I receive. I saw them testifying about miracle money. I, I saw them testifying about a major breakthrough. I Somebody say power. power. Say I am next in line to testify. I'm next in line to testify. Oh yes. Listen. People have testified before you and you have not testified yet. You know why? Your kind of miracle no eye has seen. Oh. No ear has heard. Oh yes. Oh yeah. They might have testified. No, I bought a Mercedes Benz. I bought a Legatus Benz. <laughs> I bought a Legacy Benz. <laughs> they might have testified. It doesn't matter. Oh. Your own kind of a car. No eye has seen, seen it. No ear has heard. Yeah. my own miracle my own miracle say my kind of a miracle my kind of a miracle it is a special miracle it is a special miracle say it is a special testimony it is a special testimony oh yes my own kind of a testimony oh yes my own kind of a miracle my own kind of a miracle say it is a special miracle it is a special miracle 
guess what? God is still busy making it. He's still busy working on it. Oh, yes. It's not a microwave kind of a miracle. Oh. It's not kind of a miracle that will be baked for three minutes and then you're not even sure whether it's fully cooked inside or not. I don't need microwave testimony. Oh, yes. I need a well baked testimony. Oh. You know, every, you love bread, right? Most of us, we eat bread every day. Huh? Is that true? But do you know what the bread goes through for it to become bread? <laughs> they have to get the flour and the ingredients and begin to mix them together. They'll beat it up. Don't it be feel pain? It feels pain, of course. <laughs> After being beaten around, they still have to put it in the oven. And there's a certain degree of fire that it has to receive in order for it to be well baked. Some of you, you are like bread. There's a certain level of fire that you're going through right now. There's a certain level of pain that you're going through right now. Oh. But you are that thing that will have a better taste at the end of the day. How receive it. And a lot of people will benefit from you. How receive it. Hey. The world will benefit from you. I receive it. Every family will not do without you. I receive it. You'll be the source of everything that they need. I receive it. I decree and I declare. I receive To somebody who is watching us tonight. I receive I decree and I declare over your life. I receive May you be a source of solution to somebody. I receive May you be a source of testimony to somebody. I receive it. Somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. Somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. My God. That's my boss. Listen. One thing I know about the God that we save in Holy Ghost Embassy, the God of Prophet Didi Isaac, is the God who jumps protocol. Oh, yes! He's a God who does wonders. Oh, yes! He's a God who does the undoable. Oh, yes! Jesus. Pow! There is a big and a major testimony. I receive it. The fact that, listen, the fact that, the fact that that thing that you're going through did not kill you. It's enough proof for you to know that God has a bigger testimony for you. I receive it. You know, when you are on the appointment list, Every time you have an important appointment, it's every time obstacles will come. It's either an obstacle of traffic along the way, or maybe as you just get in the car, your trouser misbehaves. Or maybe just from nowhere, a baby will come and hug you with debt. And every important appointment, there are always delays attached to it. But that does not mean that, that that thing will not come to pass. Every enemy of your progress. I said every enemy of your progress. Out. Anyone delaying your destiny. Out. Anyone delaying the appointment of God over your life. Out. I say catch fire. 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 Out. That's my boss. I decree. I receive it. After tonight. I receive it. After tonight. I receive it. I said after tonight. I receive it. I said after tonight. I receive it. After tonight. I receive it. 
after this meeting, receive it. there will be a major turnaround. Receive it. I said there will be a major turnaround. Receive it. There will be a major testimony. Receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it. Listen. These things, they don't happen anyhow. They happen to they that believe. Amen. <laughs> I can be talking to over 100 people here, but only one or two are believing in what I'm saying. I receive it. And only two have received. I receive it. I say only one person has received to me. I receive it. I believe you are the one who received your miracle. I receive it. You know, we don't save a God who is a joker. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 You remember that Sunday when I was talking to somebody about America that day? That woman. It didn't take two weeks. A week later, she went to America. As I'm talking to you, she's in New York. She's enjoying life. You understand? Now listen. When we do these things, we don't do to show or to do what. I have no time for entertainment. If I was going to be an entertainer, I was going to be an actress. You are going to be watching me on Easy Dingo or whatsoever. <laughs> I'm not an entertainer. Amen. I'm a minister of the gospel of God. And whatsoever I do, I don't do it to entice you or to attract. I've got nothing to show. Oh, yes. I've got nothing, no ability in me. Amen. I can't even see a spiritual mosquito on my own. It is simply the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you believe something has happened tonight? Oh, yes. Do you believe a lot of things have happened tonight? Yes. Do you believe there is a shift that has just taken place tonight? Oh, yes. Jesus. That's my boss. I receive it. I pray for you. The spirit of loneliness is leaving you tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands. Do you believe God can touch you? Do you believe God can touch you? I receive. I believe. Yes, I believe. You live so much lonely. It's true. There's so much spirit of pity, self-pity around it's her. It's true. She feels so much pity about herself. It's and true. now God says, I want to deliver her. It's a spirit. Amen. Every spirit of rejection after tonight is going to leave you and your household. I receive it. And I speak proper settlement. I receive it. Amen. What you have gone through, it. it's enough. Amen. The disappointments you have gone Amen. through, they are enough. Amen. No more disappointments Amen. for you. Amen. I receive it. Father, thank you. Her battles are over from tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. Are you tired of crying? Huh? Are you tired of crying? May God wipe away your tears tonight. I receive. I receive. I receive. wants you to be to become great out of nothing you might be a cleaner today God is just introducing you into a serious serious cleaning company and cleaning business you might be a waiter tonight God is just introducing you into a serious serious restaurant business amen think shallow and don't think, don't get you know, don't get settled where you are. You might be a fuel attendant. God is just introducing you to oil business. Wow. Ah. Every little thing that God has given you, if only you can maximize your potential on it, it can make you to become a great person in future. I receive it. God wants you to be a serious landscaper. Amen. Pow! Hmm. You might be a maid tonight doing house chores. God just wants to introduce you into a serious laundry business. Amen. The little that you have God can turn it into a great thing. Amen. You, I'll keep on speaking to you until Jesus comes. If I be me, and if Prophet Didi be the father of this house, and I receive you, I you receive. will know. You will know. I receive it. Huh? I receive it. You know, God is going to cause you to have serious shares I into this franchise. I Say something receive. to do with franchise, something business. I receive. Today, you might be a waiter. I receive. What You work as a what? A waiter. But Professor! Come. Come. Go and touch that altar. Just touch it. You might be a nobody tonight. You might be a maid in someone's house. It will be like a dream. When the Lord intervenes. It will be like a dream. Amen. When the Lord comes around. You know that I ever worked as a cleaner? Me. Cleaning toilets. Huh? Never. Oh. <laughs> I've done everything I've ever worked as a cleaner. Cleaning toilets. <laughs> Not just cleaning it out, but cleaning what? Toilets. 
Not that one that I was doing at church for charity. No, not that one. Another one that I did to raise funds to take me to college. Oh, oh. Yes. And I remember every time I would clean those toilets, these white people would come and mess them up and they wait for me to go and flush for them and clean. And I remember there was one who was very rude. He would insult me. If he goes and messes up, I don't flush, and maybe I'm busy cleaning the other department, other rooms. He'll come back on top of his voice to shout me, almost squeezing me. Do you understand? And every time he shouted at me, it was every time I felt out of place from that place. And every time I felt out of place, it's every time I went back to the Lord and said, God, I think I don't belong here. So sometimes your workplace can be and conducive environment. Not because it's a bad thing, but God wants to push you into something better. <sighs> you don't start from everything. You start from something. Only one thing. <laughs> you don't think people who have made it in life, they just made it and they went there. They all went through things. Some of you, if I can tell you everything that I've went through, you can say, ah, 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 ah. You mean even this one? Yes, yeah, so. Huh? Have you ever made, what do you call this? <laughs> Have you ever made magunya? Do you know magunya? Yes, you make that for business. You survive on that. Uh-oh. Oh. And you think now God is doing great things. You think it just came from the blues. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey. My God. Amen. If God can change my story, then you can. You, your story is going to change better. How receive it. You know where everybody rejected. Even. <laughs> did I even know that one day I can even sit together with great leaders. You're even invited by great people. You eat and sit together. You laugh together. Did I even imagine that in my life? It can only be to the doing of the Lord. I said your story, it will change by the doing of the Lord. Your story is changing by the doing of the Lord. Something is moving. Something. It's glory. Feels like heaven on it. Something's moving, something's changing. See his glory, feel like something's moving, something's changing. See his glory, feels like heaven on it. Something's moving, something's changing. See his glory, feels like heaven on it. Something's moving, something's changing. Feels like heaven on it. Something's moving, something's changing. She's glory. Feels like heaven. Say, oh, 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 oh. Say, heaven, heaven on it. Heaven on it. Say, oh, oh. changing tonight. Oh yes! My God. I can feel it in 
my spirit. You know, every time a woman is in labor world, when they're going through some labor pain, it's, the more it becomes painful, is the, is the more it gets closer to the delivery of their baby. So I can feel it. That something is moving. Something's changed. See his glory. Feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving. Something's changing. See his glory. After tonight, I receive it. I said that'll be your song after tonight. I receive it. You say, Yeah, something is indeed moving and changing. My God, hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, Hallelujah. Amen. Get a high five to two people, tell them that something has just moved in my life, something, something has just changed. Just Congratulate them, say congratulations, neighbor. Congratulations, congratulations. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Nobody knows how your tomorrow will be like. God knows how bright your tomorrow is going to be. Jesus, I love Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, for tonight. I thank you for everybody in this house tonight. Thank you, precious Jesus. Amen. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, precious God the Father. Amen. We salute you tonight. Amen. And we love you tonight. Amen. We celebrate you tonight. Amen. And we say thank you for doing what you've done. Amen. It's only you who can do such kind of great things. He has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great things.
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Precious Jesus. Precious Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you are grateful to God, just tell him, say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So thank you, precious Jesus. Thank you, precious Jesus. The precious Holy Spirit. Precious Holy Spirit. Say, sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, precious Father. We are grateful. We are grateful. For the great and mighty things. For the great and mighty things. That you have just done in our lives. That you have just done in our lives. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If you believe, I say amen. Amen. If you are a believer, say amen. Amen. If you are a believer, say amen. Amen. There was somebody who was sitting somewhere over there. Where is he? The gentleman who was sitting over there. Where is he? Ah. How 
how do you go? Jesus. Anyway, I cover him in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let every evil that was assigned against her life to work for his good. Amen. Let all things work for the sake of his goodness. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Who knows him? Who knows that man knows him? Nobody knows him. Huh? We just know them coming here. Oh, you must know their names now. You people, you must ask people's names. You don't even know who you are sitting next to. <laughs> Did you ask your neighbor's name? <laughs> They're just asking each other now. Do you know your neighbor's name? You must know your neighbors by now. Amen. Ask somebody next to you. Ask them, what's your name? Where do you stay? Just tell them. <laughs> you must know each other. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. No, thank you for tonight. Those who are watching us on Facebook, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord grant you your heart desires in the name of Jesus. And I pray that this night, let it be a night where God is going to do great and mighty things. Where God is going to change things in your life. He's going to shift you into another dimension in the name of Jesus. You have been operating on one level, but the Lord says he's taking you to another dimension. A greater and a higher dimension. And the Lord says that kings shall come to your rising. Kings shall come to your uplifting in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord says that your gates shall be open continually. I, I therefore decree it. and I declare that your international doors are open. Your international it. business is open. That it. marriage that you've been praying for, settlement is guaranteed for I you in the mighty name of Jesus. I and I decree it. and I declare that financial breakthrough that you've been waiting for, your gates for finances have been opened. Your doors for finances have been opened in the name of Jesus. I, I decree under the grace of the prophet of this house, prophet Didi it. Isaac, I decree and I declare that your life will never be the same. Your life has just turned around. Your things have just turned around. Around. Begin to check yourself. Those who are sick, I can see the healing, the healing power of the Lord reaching wherever you are right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, there is restoration taking place. There is abundance that is coming to your house. There is overflow that is coming to you. In Jesus' mighty name, I speak the hand of the Lord to rest upon you. In Jesus' mighty name, and I say shalom, shalom. Thank you for watching us. In Jesus' name. Listen church are you here are you here yes are you here oh yes are you here yes it's high time you began to live the word of god amen don't be just a hearer of the word be the doer of the word amen it's not enough for you to be a tongue talker It's not enough for you just to be born again. You need to live a better life beyond that which God has called you to do. It's not about you just coming in church. It's not about you just to be prophesied to. Hallelujah. It's not just about you to be prophesied to, to be done whatsoever, whatsoever. There's something more to that. Amen. There's a better life that you can live on your own. Amen. Church should just be a place for you to be serviced. It's your service station. The same way you take your Audi to Audi Center for service. You, your life comes for service at Holy Ghost Embassy. Amen. This is your garage where your service needs to be done. Amen. Hallelujah. So you can't just be every day you are under service. Every day service. You don't even go back and work and offload that which you have been imparted. Hey. Every day speaking in tongues. People who don't even talk in tongues, they'll come to church once. They will receive what they want. They'll go and make use of the word of God. Next week, they'll come back with a testimony. They are one week old in church. You have been here over one year. Nothing to show. You have become so familiar with the anointing of God. Don't get used to God. You can never be a friend of you.